Hello student, today I am going to take lecture of advanced Java unit 6 Hibernet and in this video I am going to explain introduction to Hibernet. So the first question is what is Hibernet? So defining Hibernet, Hibernet is a free open source object relational mapping library. Now we are object relational mapping library means object of Java class is communicated with relational database which is designed to map object to RDBMS that is relational database and to implement the object oriented programming concept in relational database. So actually Hibernet is a free open source which is used to map our Java object with relational database where in Java object every attribute is considered as object where in DBMS that is in RDBMS every record is considered as a tuple or a row. So here in Hibernet it will implement object oriented programming concept that is our Java programming in relational database. Such mapping is created with the help of object relational model. The concept of object relational model will be studying in further slides. So introduction to Hibernet. It's an open source object relational mapping for Java that is ORM model. Hibernet is responsible for making data persistence means storing Java object in database persistently by storing it into a database. This ORM is a programming technique for converting object type data of object oriented programming language like Java into database table. So here it is converting the object defined in our programming language into relational database row. So record which is stored in Java program in form of object is stored into the database in form of a particular row. Hibernet is used to convert object data in Java to relational database. Now the most important part is comparison between JDBC and Hibernet. So explaining with one example. This example explain working of JDBC that is Java database connectivity. Now, now the slide represent a database with five column enrollment number, name, branch, semester and batch. If I am working with a Java class, whatever column name were there in our RDBMS is represented as an object of some class. So here for class, enrollment number, name, branch, semester and batch are objects. Whenever we are working with JDBC, JDBC will convert all the object to a particular record either stored or retrieved to or from database. So if I want to store all the information of student 1 which is stored in class student through JDBC API it is stored into database. Now problem with JDBC was JDBC was providing us API to communicate. It means just to communicate with database. So it was an interface between Java programming that is object oriented programming and our database. But whatever uh, things which are required for communication is to be written by developer only. So for developer it is a cumbersome task to represent each and every field with database in form of coding. So the actual JDBC coding is to be developed by a developer only. For example, if 10 developer are working on same project on same application then all have to implement connectivity with database. So starting from class.4 name connection con driver manager till handling result retrieved into the result set is a task of a developer. So this become very tedious task for each and every developer to handle JDBC application. Now the case with Hibernet. Same database with 5 columns, class number 1 with same object enrollment number, name, branch, semester and batch. Communicating with Hibernet. 
the difference here to communicate with hibernet is hibernet automatically maps object of java with a database through its xml file so for example if class 1 contains object of student number 1 it is stored in row number 2 for example class number 2 contains object of student number 2 that will be stored in row number 3 now this communication between java object and database is aced with the help of object relational mapping where an xml file had already mapped our database column with object so if 10 developer are working on same project every developer did not have to worry about mapping between an object and column name xml file of orm will automatically map and the task is performed by ORM itself. So with Hibernate, it is more easier to convert object-oriented programming to relational database with the help of object relational mapping. Now difference between JDBC versus Hibernate. Here JDBC maps Java classes to database table. So from Java data types to SQL data types, Hibernate automatically generates the query. Now the main difference is if in JDBC we are using different different database then query for each and every database may be different. So this should be handled from developer side to generate different different syntactical queries for different database while in Hibernate this will not happen. Difference number two with JDBC developers has to write code that is from class dot for name till handling result set to map our object model data to a relational data model while hibernate is flexible and having powerful object relational mapping that is orm to map java classes to database table difference number three with jdbc it's a developer responsibility to handle jdbc result set and convert it to java so here when result is retrieved from database, it is task of developer to handle it properly. Thus with JDBC mapping between Java object and database is done manually and which is a very cumbersome task. While with Hibernate it reduces a line of code by maintaining object table mapping through XML file itself and return result to application in form of Java object and this is being performed automatically it's not a developer's responsibility in hibernate to map object with rdbms hence it reduces the development time as well as the maintenance cost difference number four jdbc requires jdbc driver for different type of database while this is not case with hibernate hibernate makes an application portable to all sql database so if project is developed and stored in multiple type of database hibernate can easily handle through hql query here hql means hibernate query language difference between hql and sql is being discussed in further videos difference number five jdbc handle all crude operation using sql query crude operation means create treat update and delete operations using sql queries while hibernate handle all the crude operation using simple api and no sql is being used instead it will use hql hibernate query language difference number six working with both object oriented software and relational database is very complicated task with jdbc because developer has to code each and every line which communicate java with database while in hibernate itself takes care of mapping using xml file so developer does not need to write code for this difference number seven jdbc support only structured query language while Hibernate provides a powerful query language which is known as Hibernate query language and one more advantage of this Hibernate query language is it is independent from type of database we are using. With this we complete a difference between JDBC 
and hibernate. Now overview of hibernate. Hibernate framework simplifies development of Java application to interact with database. Here the word simplify signifies that due to mapping of Hibernate, it will become easier for a developer to design an application which communicate with database. Second point, Hibernate is open source, lightweight and object relational mapping tool. We have already discussed open source as well as object relational mapping. But the word here lightweight signifies that nothing is to be installed on client machine. Thus, Hibernate is open source, lightweight and ORM mapping tool. Point number three, an ORM tool simplifies data creation data manipulation and data access due to due to xml mapping hibernate is a programming technique which maps object to data stored in database diagrammatically java application which is in form of objects Now explaining diagrammatically, our Java application which consists of objects, that object is mapped to columns of database through ORM tool that is object relational mapping tool. The ORM tool internally uses JDBC API only to interact with database. So, ORM internally itself use all the JDBC API which we have used in unit 2. With this I complete introduction to Hibernate. Thank you all of you.